Yo, what's going on everybody, it's Axel, and in this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way to kill your sister, Parvos. This video will be split into three separate parts, spawning a sister candidate, finding your Requiem mod order, and finally, killing your sister. As always, timestamps will be in the description down below, and now, let's get into it. Before you can start farming sisters of Parvos, First, you need to make sure you have completed both Call of the Tempestari and the War Within quests. Then you'll be able to spawn a sister candidate. The fastest way to spawn a sister candidate is by going to Hydra on Pluto. Then find a Golden Hand statue and offer a Zenith Graham crown. You can get one each time you kill this guy on a level 31 or higher mission on the Corpus ship tile set. Make sure you kill at least 25 spectres before time runs out to spawn the sister candidate. Around 30 seconds later, the sister candidate should spawn. Down it, and if it has the weapon you want, mercy it. If not, rinse and repeat until the sister candidate spawns with the weapon you are looking for. Just a reminder, the warframe you use determines the elemental bonus of the weapon. As for builds, you only need a Zorus. The build that I have on it doesn't even use an Oricon Catalyst or Former. Now that you have turned your sister candidate into a sister of Parvos, you need to find out which three Requiem mods you need and in what order. You can guess the mods, but it will level up your sister faster if you guess wrong. And later in the video, I will show you why you want to kill your sister at the lowest level possible. So I would recommend finding out a Requiem mod before you stab your sister. If your sister spawns before you find out the first Requiem mod, kill the hound that spawns with it and either leave the sister alone or down it three times and it will despawn. Either way, your sister will not level up. The missions you do to farm hounds doesn't particularly matter as a maximum of three hounds can spawn in one mission. Unless you complete the mission in under one minute, at least two hounds should spawn in the mission before you reach extraction. The highest level your sister will get to, if you do not guess the first mod slot, is level 4. For example, Force was the first mod revealed, so you place it in the first slot on your Parazon. When you stab your sister, it fails. Your sister will level up to level 2, but now you know that Force is either in the second or third position. The second mod revealed is Vome, so you place it in the first position and Force in the second. When you stab your sister, it fails on the first attempt again. This will level up your sister to level 3, and now you know the third Requiem mod to be revealed is in the first position. Force and Vome will be in the last two. Riss is the third mod revealed, so you place it in the first position. Force in the second, then Vome. When you stab your sister, the first attempt is successful, but the second is not. Your sister is now level 4, but you know the order will be Riss, Vome, then Force. When you go to stab your sister and you only know one or two Requiem mods, be sure to fill the last slot or two with random mods. If the slot was empty and you stabbed your sister, you will automatically fail. So it's better to take a shot to find out which mod it could be. When you have successfully found the correct sequence for your Parazon, your sister will flee to the Neptune Proxima. Now it's time to hop into your Railjack for the final confrontation. The mods that you have on your Plexus doesn't particularly matter as long as you have crew members which will repair your ship if it runs out of health. As for Intrinsics, you will need one of them to be rank 5 to access the mission. These aren't necessary, but I would recommend at least rank 4 tactical, so then you can recall back to your railjack and fast travel inside of it. And rank 3 gunnery, so then you can have access to the slingshot. This will decrease the amount of time it takes to kill the cruise ships. You need to destroy two of them, as well as two security nodes. I like to destroy one cruise ship, which can be done by flying towards it. And once you are within 4000 meters of it, Teleport to your slingshot by pressing L and clicking on this waypoint. Activate the slingshot and once you have locked onto the cruise ship, left click to fly into it. Now activate the three terminals to raise the reactor. Destroy it and equip your Omni to teleport back to your railjack. During the time it takes to spawn the second cruise ship, I destroy the two security nodes, then destroy the second cruise ship. 
Now it's time to fight your sister. But first, I decided to test out damage against a level 4 sister because that is the highest level you should face her. Also, this is what happened when I went up against a level 2 sister. Yeah, I nearly one shotted her. Lucky for me, the level 4 sister didn't have any resistances, so I could test all elemental combinations to see if they made a difference. But I won't be able to see if using the resistant elements lowers your damage. The sister however had a weakness to impact, so keep that in mind. I first tested to see if stripping the armor made a difference. And yes, you do more damage when you strip their armor. Next I wanted to see if elements made a difference. Against shields, the difference is negligible. Against armor, corrosive does more damage, but once you strip the armor, the difference between elements is pretty much non-existent. With this being the case, I thought I was ready to start testing different weapons, until I found a reddit post which I will leave in the description. It essentially says, use certain abilities and mods to deal more damage as well as critical hits are calculated after the damage reduction. One of those abilities was Octavia's Amp, and when I tested it, there wasn't much of a difference. I also tested Mirage's Eclipse infused on Ash. It wasn't on their list of abilities, but more damage. That also performed about the same. This makes me believe that I was reaching some sort of damage gap, and after reading the patch notes for update 30.5, assuming the Sisters of Parvos share the same damage reduction as Kuva Liches, I was indeed reaching a damage cap. So you might want to use Octavia's Amp or Mirage's Eclipse if you don't have max rank damage mods. Now to actually start killing your sister. I timed each weapon from the first instance of damage to the last. I first used a Zor with Exotic Contagion and it took around 45 seconds to kill the level 4 sister of Parvos. I then tested the Piranha Prime and after reviewing the footage, I realized that I wasn't aiming for the head majority of the time. Even with that, I was still able to defeat the sister in around 46 seconds. Next, I used the Tigress Prime, which resulted in around 39 seconds to kill. I then tested the Corinth Prime to see if a crit based shotgun would perform better. In short, yes it does. It took around 29 seconds for the Corinth Prime to kill a level 4 sister and that was with normal Ravage. So I replaced Ravage with its primed counterpart and ran the mission again. Just from that one change, the time to kill went down to around 22 seconds. I then decided to take the same build and put up against a level 5 sister of Parvos because why not? I was able to kill a level 5 sister in around 32 seconds. This is the Corinth Prime build that I used. I also use this build when farming Murmurs to easily take down the sister when it spawns. As for secondaries, they aren't really necessary unless you don't have Exodia Contagion. Then I would recommend either a Magnetic and Toxin or a Magnetic and Viral Kuva Nucor. In the melee slot, you want to use a Zor with Exodia Contagion. You'll be able to one-shot the Hounds when using Eclipse with the damage buff. Without the damage buff, it will take 2 to 6 Exodia Contagion projectiles to kill the Hound. I personally use a Crunch with these parts. I mainly use the Crunch because I have a crit damage and electricity ribbon for it. The ribbon can be replaced for an attack speed mod like Fury or Primed Fury. As for Warframes, there are 3 that I would recommend. Ash, Nynx and Octavia. Ash is my go to Warframe as he can strip their armor and go invisible. When your Warframe goes invisible, your companion does as well. So this allows you to run an Adaza Kavat with Cat's Eye. This will frequently increase the crit chance from 90% to 150% on the Corinth Prime. But if you don't have an Adaza Kavat and are up against a level 4 or 5 sister, I would recommend using Nynx. Nynx not only can strip armor, but also remove their shields. You will save 4 to 6 shots from the Corinth Prime against a level 4 or 5 sister if you remove their shields. There are two main downsides to using Nynx. You cannot equip an Adaza Kavat because pets don't go invulnerable when Nynx does. Also, you move really slow. Like, slower than a grandma going down a flight of stairs slow. These are the Ash and Nynx builds that I would use. 
Ninx only requires at least 130% strength to fully strip armor, while Ash requires at least 143% strength to do the same. I would only recommend using Octavia if you have access to the helmet system and can infuse Ash's shuriken. If so, this is the build that I use. Like I have previously stated, I would recommend using an Adaza Kavat if you are not using Ninx, and this is the build that I use. On the other hand, if you are using Ninx, equip any Sentinel and on the weapon, equip as many Vigilante mods as you can. This will allow up to a 20% chance to increase the crit tier by one, therefore turning a yellow crit into an orange, an orange crit into a red, and so on. Lastly, I use Xenoric to utilize Energize in Dash, so then I have no energy problems. That was my in-depth guide to farming Sisters of Parvos. If you found it helpful, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more content, and leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching.